Today, both gold and silver traded precisely in the range mentioned. However, today both trading with a good drop. The gold trading below its critical support at 19, uh, 1730 and silver below 1900. What is going to happen today? Which position we should take in order to make profit today? We will try to see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators and I will also give you the trading levels and entries for making profit today. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully and do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon if you are interested into other commodities and markets including crude oil and natural gas. Dow Jones, Nasdaq, FTSE Germany. You can watch those videos as well. Let's start the day with gold. Gold trading bearish, trading outside the Bollinger Bands and yes, it has got it to its support at 1724, trying to get the resistance there. Be watchful of this. It is trading outside the Bollinger Bands, can be pulled back again into the zone. The resistance or the trading entry for long or any buy trade today is at 1737 till the time it trades below 1737 i will not recommend you to go long directional movement is bearish stock stick is looking downwards macd is wide divergent and bearish on the early charts and rsi is again coming back to oversold levels similarly if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too it is trading outside the bollinger bands got to uh, the pivot at 1724 and getting the support from there it is trying to bounce back from there I don't think so. Any long entry is recommended be till the time it trades below, below 1737. Above that also, we may, it may find a resistance at 1742-45. And yes, on the downside below 1724, we may see a good fall. However, right now, I think it may try to still trade in range. Directional movement is bearish here. If you see the stochastic, this is also oversold and the MACD has crossed over. This is just the second red candle. Probably few more candles to follow. RSI again into oversold zone similarly on the 3R charts on the 3R charts you can find out this is after long it is trying to come out of this sideways trading box and this is the breakout candle be watchful of this it may continue with the break breakout and yes be watchful of 1724 below that definitely one can expect further more fall which may bring it again on the downside however one must observe that it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands can be pulled back again any good long entry is 1737 and 1742 1742 is the greater resistance for now which may which may uh, not allow gold to pull back again strongly on the upside if you look at the directional movement is bearish the stochastic is oversold the MACD is trying to converge and cross over for a sell entry and RSI is looking downwards again on the 4 hour chart. So this is a breakout right now what we are observing. This is a breakout. It was trading sideways 1730 levels provided it is support and with that is support it is trying to drop now. And yes on the 4 hour chart this is the first breakout candle probably. But at the same time one must observe see the two four hour candles the candle size is almost same and it has achieved the low so this is a breakout we what we are observing and we have to be cautious till the time it trades below 17 35 37 i will not recommend you to go long and any rise is a good to go short that is what i have told yesterday also for gold that below 17 45 any rise is good to go short and right now it is also the same case today till the time it is below 17 37 every rise is good to go short and probably we can expect a further more drop however on the downside one must note that it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands and can get pulled back also it has achieved the pivot and can get pulled back so 1724 you have to be watchful of any drop below 1724 should only be recommended as a good entry to go short there directional movement is bearish stock stick again looking downwards MACD is trying to converge crossover for a sell RSI is again oversold on the 4 hour charts looking at the daily charts on the daily charts see how beautifully uh, this is a second red candle and it is trying to trade in red probably the movement is not so uh, deep so big but still it is trying to trade in red, red. and uh, for the day the resistance at 17 37, 1742 and 1745 is going to be strong, uh, greater resistance at 1745 exists, be watchful of this and yes, uh, if you see it trading below 1724, go short, however, I, I am again saying it is trading outside the Bollinger Bands on the minor time frame, on the daily charts, yes, there is a uh, support which might come into picture, 1718, 1715 zone, be watchful of this, below 1724, I will still expect one can expect it to go back till towards 17 18 17 15 zone also one must observe that 
after this minor retracement it, it, it is trying to give you a breakout also it is seeing the lower lows it is trying to trade in this channel i'll be watchful of 1745 on the upside till the time it trades below this one can remain short directional movement is bearish and if you look at the stochastic this is oversold it must try to bounce back the macd is also trading white trading bearish and if you look at the rsi this is oversold here on the daily charts so i i will expect a pullback on gold but i'll be watchful of how far it can drop before it looks over to a rise there right now it appears that it is trying to consolidate a bit and 1745 levels definitely you have to be cautious of 1745 if it trades above 1745 close your eyes stay long and then one can expect 1755 1760 and then beyond that 1770 1780 levels cannot be denied on the downside be watchful of 1724 if it drops below 1724 my next target is going to be 1718 and 1715 levels these two levels are definitely going to provide a little support below 1715 you can expect a further more fall however looking at the indicators on time frame it appears it should call for a bounce back but right now it is still trading bearish i will be cautious in between 1724 and 1737 levels do not take any trade between 1724 and 1737 for the day and above and below take your positions accordingly 1737 1742 1745 are the larger resistance beyond 1745 it is going to fly take your positions accordingly and a short entry below 1724 is recommended below that 1718 1715 and below that 1708 levels can be expected now let's have a look at silver silver on the hourly charts has seen a wide wild swing there resistance there at 1920 is strong be watchful of this and look at this it is trying to create a step here and probably the next candle may further bring a fall if it continues to trade bearish here's the support there at 1890 is strong 1890 1880 you have to be watchful of these levels i have always told that this is going to provide a support below 1818 80 it will always drop to 186 T eighteen forty and then eighteen hundred levels. Yes, on the upside, if you see it trading beyond nineteen twenty, go long for nineteen thirty five, which is going to provide a little and stronger resistance above nineteen thirty five. We can expect a good rise. See, also this is trading outside the Bollinger Bands and it is getting a pullback again in the channel. Directional movement is bearish here. It is strongly bearish. Stochastic looking upwards with a slightly bullish bias. The MACD is trading in red. and it is bearish rsi looking upwards and if you look at the 2 hour charts on the 2 hour charts to see this is trying to after this multiple red candles it is trying to give you a reversal candle and i will be watchful of now 1920 levels any move beyond 1920 should take it to 1930 1935 and then 1940 should come into picture be watchful of this at the same time see this was trading outside the bollinger bands and it has got a strong pullback again on the upside look at the MACD this is wide divergent and bearish and if you look at the stochastic this was oversold trying to come out of it MACD is wide divergent and bearish see directional movement was bearish MACD is bearish and yes RSI is also looking downwards similarly if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts lower highs are seen and lower lows so it is trying to basically this is a breakout candle and with that as breakout it is trying to trade slightly bearish however it is getting pulled back again into the bands with this drop and extreme move one thing is certain that it is trying to increase the width of the bollinger bands and that is why we can see a good swing right now once again the same position any move beyond 1920 should be a good entry to go long for 1930 1935 and 1950 levels 1950 should provide a stronger resistance on the upside similarly any move below 1900 you can go short for 1890 1880 levels below that we may see it dropping till towards 1860 and 1840 levels take your positions accordingly now this is on the 3 hour charts let's have a more detailed look here directional movement bearish stochastic was oversold trying to come out see the macd has crossed over and it is trading with bearish now post this crossover it may try to act further bearish the rsi trading flat and if you look at the 4 hour charts it has seen the lows out there see the candle size it may try to end up with the same candle size and then the break can follow now look at this after long time it is trying to come out of this sideways box for multiple 4 hour candles it was trading in this now it is trying to 
break out from beyond these levels also look at the width of the bollinger bands it was trading with a quite narrow band trading in a quite narrow band now it is trying to increase its width be watchful it can uh, if it trades consistently below 1900 it can drop further and it can drop farther it can drop sharply below 1900 and at the same time i'll be watchful of 1920 any move beyond 1920 to sh should take it till towards 1927 1930 which is a stronger resistance than 1935 1940 levels directional movement bearish the stochastic near to oversold macd is in green trying to converge rsi is the near to bottom and if you look at the daily charts it is also trying to show you that this is a breakout and i'll be watchful the downside is also far away till towards 1850 levels if it sustains below 1900 definitely one can stay short there directional movement bearish stochastic is comfortable levels macd is trying to converge rsi is oversold here trading consistently bearish here considering this any long entry today is above 1920 levels beyond that i'll be looking forward to yes go long at 1920 target is 1927 1930 and then 1935 levels and beyond that if it flies i'll look forward to 1950 also this is going to be a good very very strong resistance on the downside if it trades below 1900 you can go short there the target is 1890 1880 and then if it breaks 1880 we may see a very good fall till towards 1860 1840 levels take your positions accordingly and do trade with the stop loss do trade with the trailing stop loss thank you very much have a great great profitable trading day ahead also you can join my mentorship batch reach out to me for more details 15 days 90 minutes and the methodology start will definitely help you become a profitable trader reach out to me for more details my telegram id and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you